If you have a situation where you've released a certain code base to production and you want to debug a certain issue but you want to avoid pushing some code into production by accident, we can use something called preprocessor directives using the debug and the release flags that's denoted at the top. So right here we have debug and release. When you go to build it for production, you can use the release and then hit build and then build a solution and upload that and publish it. But when we're debugging, we want to set the debug flag. But if you accidentally leave some debug code in and then go to release it, then you're going to have some debug code inside production. So the best way to get around that is by using the preprocessor directives. So what we can do is we can type in hashtag if followed by a debug and then we can do hashtag end if and place a console write line for the number for example and just use tab to bring this back in and let's have a look and see what this does. So we enter a number, we convert it, then we print out the screen only if the debug flag is set and then we just do a simple check if the number is zero we print hello world. Of course this is just an artificial example to demonstrate a pattern that we can use inside C Sharp. So let's have a look. So we can start this without debugging so we can hit debug, start without debugging to run it as if it was in production. So we enter a number and let's say zero and then we get the zero appearing because it's coming from this console write line. And then what we can do now is if we switch the flag to release and do exactly the same thing, go to debug and start without debugging, type in the same thing, you'll also see that that message is no longer there. So it only runs if this is indeed true, which is the if debug flag. This is a really handy pattern to use just in case you've accidentally wrote some code that was meant for debugging purposes, but you've pushed that into production, then you can catch it early just in case. And even if it doesn't get caught in a code review or anything else, then you can make sure that it won't run using this flag. So I hope that video made sense. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. If you're interested, I have an ultimate C Sharp Masterclass course linked below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.